科技临界点，向世界介绍中国科技。Hi, I'm Lisa, and this is Threshold in China. Today, we are going to share some exciting tech innovations and announcements that happened in China last week. A startling discovery by Chinese scientists could unlock a new window into the deepest mysteries of the universe. Using the world's largest radio telescope, FAST, researchers have detected gravitational waves at frequencies billions of times lower than those found by LIGO, and at wavelengths of several light years. These nanohertz gravitational waves could reveal hidden black holes, the origin of the cosmos, and push the boundaries of physics. Gravitational waves are ripples in the fabric of space, predicted by Einstein over a century ago. They are created by massive, accelerating objects like black holes or neutron stars. Though hard enough to detect, gravitational waves provide a new way to see the universe. In 2016, the LIGO experiment first directly detected gravitational waves from merging black holes. Now, the Chinese Pulsar Timing Array team has used a fast radio telescope to find evidence of gravitational waves billions of times lower in frequency. These nanohertz gravitational waves come in pairs of supermassive black holes orbiting in distant galaxies. Fast monitored radio signals from 57 pulsar, which act like cosmic clock. If a gravitational wave passes. It can alter the pulsar timing slightly. After analyzing three years of fast data, scientists found patterns matching theoretical nanohertz gravitational waves. The discovery is consistent with those reported earlier this year by another pulsar timing array collaboration, Nanograph, but has a higher statistical significance and a lower level of noise in their analysis. Co-director of Nanograph said they were fortunate to have the world's largest radio telescope. This allowed a significant detection in little time. The CPTA team plans to continue monitoring more pulsar and improving their sensitivity to detect and characterize the nanohertz gravitational wave background. They also hope to collaborate with other pulsar timing array projects around the world to form a global network that can enhance the scientific potential of this novel technology. These ripples from the dawn of time are bringing us closer to understand the deep mysteries that shape our universe. The exploration continues. With the rise of social media and remote work, the way we interact with each other is changing, and our reliance on technology is growing. A new study has found that social isolation and loneliness are associated with an increased risk of death. From all causes, the social isolation here means a lack of or limited social contact with others, which can be due to various reasons such as physical distance, illness, or personal choice. While loneliness refers to a subject's emotional states. The study is a systematic review of meta-analysis of 90 cohort studies from 1986 to 2022, involving more than 2.2 million participants from countries such as the United States, the United Kingdom, and Japan. All the study subjects were aged 18 or above, and 70% of them were aged 50 or above. The researchers from Harbin Medical University analyzed the study data to estimate the pooled effect size of social isolation and loneliness on mortality outcomes. The results showed that in the general population, both social isolation and loneliness were significantly associated with an increased risk of all-cause mortality and cancer mortality. Social isolation also highly increased the risk of cardiovascular disease and breast cancer. So what happened? The researchers noted that social isolation can promote unhealthy behaviors, including poor nutrition and lack of exercise, and has also been found to be associated with immune system dysfunction. Meanwhile, loneliness has been associated with sleep and immune system disorders. The research has its limitations. Only 19 studies were analyzed, and they used different measures for social isolation and loneliness. The participants were mainly from high-income countries. They recommended that more attention should be paid to social isolation and loneliness as potential risk factors for mortality, and that interventions should be developed to improve social relationships and well-being amongst individuals at risk.
Snakes are a fascinating group of reptiles. Every Chinese know the famous idiom "hua she tian zu," which translates to "adding legs to painted snakes." It warns against unnecessary additions to something that is already perfect. But interestingly, according to a new study, snakes' ancestors originally had legs. How do snakes evolve to lose their legs, grow extra long bodies, and develop super senses? The groundbreaking study has deciphered the genetic code by sequencing the genomes of 14 snake species. This research represents the most extensive and detailed genomic analysis of snake ever conducted. Snakes first appeared in the early Cretaceous period, around 118 million years ago, and their ancestors had legs resembling the lizard we see today. Changes in the environment forced them to adapt to subterranean life. Limbs became hindrance to movement, and over millions of years, they gradually lost it. The study also suggests that snakes are sister taxes to lizards, such as king snakes and Komodo dragon, implying that some type of lizard may have been the ancestors of snakes. Limb loss often coincides with body elongation, and snakes can have several hundred vertebrae, two to three times the number found in other common vertebrates. In response to body elongation, the internal organs of snake undergo asymmetric development. For instance, the left lung often degenerates, while the right lung becomes more developed. Some snake species have also developed exceptional sensory ability over time, such as the capacity to perceive infrared radiation. Pythons and vipers are known for their specialized infrared sensing organs, which aid in hunting and predator evasion in low light conditions. The study found that in these snakes, changes in genes and regulatory elements related to heat and temperature sensing allowed them to perceive infrared radiation. The findings help us to better understand the complex evolution of animals and offer valuable insights into animal genetic breeding and the examination of complex traits and diseases in humans. It can help us better understand lung diseases and limb deficiencies in humans by studying snakes with asymmetric lung development and limb loss. Additionally, the infrared sensing ability of snakes could contribute to advancement in bionic and blindness treatments. A team of researchers from the Chinese Academy of Science and Tianjin University has successfully created a tiny black hole on a superconducting chip using a chain of 10 qubits and nine tunable couplers. Qubits are the building blocks of quantum computers, and couplers are the device that control the interactions between qubits. Black holes are some of the most mysterious objects in the universe. They are so massive that they wrap the fabric of space and time around them, where nothing, not even light, can escape their gravitational pull. However, according to scientists who proposed the quantum effects of gravity in the last century, black holes can still leak some particles through a process called quantum tunneling. This leakage is called Hawking radiation. It means that black holes will not exist forever, and their ultimate fate will be to evaporate and disappear. There are currently no experimental results that can directly verify the quantum effect of gravity because Hawking radiation is very faint and hard to observe in the real black holes. Since observing Hawking radiation in actual black hole is so elusive, scientists work to create an equivalent curved spacetime in a laboratory and study its related effects. Scientists have tried to mimic black holes using different things like water waves, cold atom, optical materials, and light. However, these things have some problems, such as low efficiency, high noise, or difficulties in changing the parameters. In this study, scientists used a superconducting chip. The chip is a smart device that can manipulate qubits and couplers with high precision and flexibility. By changing the couplers, the researchers created a specific pattern that looks like the curved space near a black hole. They found evidence that the superconducting circuit is accurately stimulating the behavior of a black hole. In other words, they observed Hawking radiation from it and studied the influence of curved spacetime on quantum entanglement. This successful attempt provides a new method to study cold spacetime and the quantum effects of black holes.
China is constructing its third icebreaker with the potential to explore deep polar seabed by 2025. This vessel could make China the second nation after Russia to reach the Arctic seafloor using crewed submissibles. Primarily focusing on deep-sea scientific research, the icebreaker will spend part of the year at the North and South Poles while also supporting research in the South China Sea. With a length of 103 meters and a displacement of 920 tons, the versatile vessel can accommodate 80 people and travel at a speed up to 60 knots. Its main functions include unrestricted navigation, crude deep diving, deep sea exploration and support for experiments. It is expected to provide samples and environmental data for research on deep sea environments, geology and life science, as well as supporting testing and use of deep sea technology and equipment. In addition to its research capabilities, the vessel can support deep-sea archaeological exploration with submissibles. In 2022, China's submissible deep-sea warrior discovered more than 100,000 items, mostly porcelain, dating back around 500 years from two ancient shipwrecks in the South China Sea. And that is all for today's Threshold. We hope you like this new section on science and technology in China. We're also working on content about the ongoing US-China chip war. If you have any thoughts or questions on this topic, please let us know.